Hi, uh, my name is Rob Stevens, and I used to think of myself as this painter, and I would sort of push paint around, but like wood, like, like hates, hates being carved, and like fights back. It's like, no, I don't want to do this. And so there's this struggle, and so you get these really intense lines that happen because there's a, a conflict in a way, so you have to like be really assertive, and I'm a very not assertive person. So I kind of need that to be like a bully to make these woodcuts. So there's a truthfulness, in, I think, in the lines. And I do some comic book zines that I intend to be like uh, notes that would be passed during high school. I like them. They're embarrassing. And they're all about like my eighth grade drama of uh, people giving me advice on how to kiss good or sort of growing up in the closet during the AIDS panic and feeling really alienated. There's this sort of vulnerability and fragility of, of these stupid comic books I make. I like them because it makes the audience feel like I'm trusting them with something and that, that vulnerable. That's where beauty's at in a way and that's where art is about to me. It's been helping me analyze the underpinnings of my work. I've been having to be very clear about what I'm doing and, and explaining it to people. And that, that's been really daunting, but really helpful. So this validation has been good and bad. Like, because it, it, it's, I mean, it's all been good, but it's been simultaneously stressful and not stressful. You're like, yay, I'm validated. Oh, no, now I have to make sure that I do something with this and you get this sort of surge, and it allows you, it gives you permission to take yourself seriously. These people believe that, and I should be believing that too, and so it helps you change the decisions you would make, where normally you might play it safe. And the fact that I know, and have been hanging out with all these people going through the same thing that I'm going through, it emboldens you. This idea of like being expansive and thinking of these possibilities. A lot of the criticisms that, that we give each other, or you need, you're not thinking big enough, that you're encouraged to think bigger. Your actions are not your own. Like you're not making art just for yourself. And it sounds like really egotistical, but it's true about all art, is you make art for people who can't make art, for whatever reason, they can't let themselves make art. And that's what the job of an artist is. It's not about their ego, it's not about themselves. I think the fellowship ties into that. It makes it helps make it possible. It makes it seem like as a culture you say this is important that there's some people who do this. Whatever it is, whatever it is that stops other people from expressing themselves or making art, it's the duty of the artist to do that for them because they're strong enough to. They're strong enough to like say, look at my heart, this is my heart. <laughs> <laughs>